Hey Darksiders, how are you? My name is Al. This is Dark Side Reviews. If you are new here, this is the place where we come to step out of real life and into the realm of our favorite movies and TV shows. So, listen, let's talk coronavirus, man, because this is having an impact on you and I as movie lovers. If you did not hear, there are a couple of movies that are not going to be released or that are being held. A Quiet Place is one, Mulan is another. So some of the movies that we're looking forward to are being held at this point because of the coronavirus. And a lot of people are discouraging large gatherings where it's easier to spread the virus and here in the state of Maryland where I am like all public schools are closed for the next two weeks a lot of colleges for the next two weeks or longer are closed just to get a handle on the coronavirus so here's how it impacts us as moviegoers it was interesting a few weeks ago I went to go see a movie and I wasn't super nervous about it but I was nervous enough because the virus is easy to pass along when you are in close proximity to the people around you now fortunately for me where I go see a lot of my movies the I pick theater the seats are pretty far between each other because they're set in like they're set in two so you have two seats here space big space two seats here big space and then you have people in front of you but you have a space in front of you but I was nervous about going to see the movie even though there were only three people in the movie theater because I'm nervous about catching this and passing it on because it seems so easy to jump from person to person and while I'm not in the target range in terms of the health factors or being sick with the age that apparently it affects worse than others I could be a carrier you could be a carrier and the thing incubates for 14 days so folks could have it and not know they have it and you go visit a loved one or something like that that is within that target group of higher health risk as it comes to the virus and they're affected by it so when i get into the theater there is a guy that's coughing and who knows man a cough is a cough it's who it's allergies going around it's all kinds of stuff i have allergies but there's a guy that's coughing and i'm thinking okay it's making me nervous now i shouldn't be because he's so far away from me that it doesn't really matter right um but my question to you is, are you taking precautions in terms of like your, your, your outgoings or the things you're going to see or the movies you might check out? Are you, are you holding fast? Are you basically staying at home, bunkering in and letting this affect you to the point where you're saying, yo, I'm not going to be out in public as much as I can. I'm going to stay home, ride this out until we find out what's going on here and we get a better handle on what's happening here. And we're working on doing better at that in the United States. We have not handled this outbreak well in the United States. The president did just come on and he did do some things, some major things to really help us move forward with getting past this. But on the whole, the states is not is not handling this virus well. Um, but we're moving forward. We're doing better. So I don't mean to complain because we are doing better about it. But I'm just curious how this whole thing is affecting you as Darksiders in the community. Have you changed your routine? Do you think it's overblown? Do you think this is much to do about nothing? I think that's hard to say because we do know that there are a lot of people that are losing their lives worldwide. So I think this virus is dangerous. I think part of the reason that it's dangerous is because it's novel, right? It's a new virus, so we don't know much about it. We do have an idea of how viruses normally act. And we actually do have an idea of the lifespan of a virus. But because this is new, there's stuff that we don't know about it. So should we as moviegoers be pensive about that, right? Should we be worried about that? Should I not go to the movies? Because it could be the case that the virus is there, even if it's not a lot of people there. It could be on the surface from the guy that sat in the seat in front of me or the guy that sat in the seat uh, before me. So it could be there and you could pick it up. You could have 14 days of an incubation period, be contagious and not know it. Um, or it could be that you have a child that might have contracted the virus. And because they tend to be really resistant to it, they could be a carrier but not experience the same symptoms. So I don't mean to be an alarmist. Really, I don't because I'm going out today. I've got to go out and I've got to pay some bills today. But I am going to be careful, right? I am going to wash my hands. I am going to try and keep that distance if I can just to be safe. But I'm wondering what you are thinking about Corona and is that affecting your movie going habits and then just your general life Darksiders is this something that you are you are cognizant of every time you're out and about in public are you making sure you're sanitizing your homes keeping the counters clean and all that kind of good stuff how far has the coronavirus or how much has the coronavirus affected your life as a movie goer and then just in general i'm curious i just wanted to ask you guys that you know i know this is not a normal topic that we would talk about it is going to affect us in the way of some of the movies that we would cover we won't cover not really worried about stuff that we have to talk about within the world of 
movies and TV because there's plenty of stuff streaming to get into. And then there's some old classics, right, that we can get into as well to talk about. But I just wanted to ask you this question because the coronavirus is something that's really affecting all of us. Thanks, guys. Drop your comments. Let me know what you thought about this video. I will see you guys later this week or on Monday night for the live stream. And then there are some more videos coming out that I want you guys to check out as well. So notification bells, ladies and gentlemen, make sure those are on so that you see what's coming up. And I finally got um, YouTube stories. So that's really cool. I can kind of share my life on the go with you guys. And I've been putting up some stuff there. So, all right, guys, love you guys. Make sure that you're staying safe. If you don't take it seriously, if it's something that's not a big deal to you, for you, do it for me because I care about you. Make sure you're washing your hands. Make sure you're keeping that distance. I think they were saying like four to five or five to six feet or something like that between you and the person that's around you. Just when you're out in public, just, just be safe, man. Be safe for yourself, uh, for your loved ones and, and everybody while we as a world really work through this whole thing together. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.